Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of Swallowed Star. So let's start. Night. Luo Feng brought little Na Ku and rushed into the sky. Na Ku couldn't help but look back down at Swallow Mound City as tears were flowing from his eyes. Na Ku, sleep, sleep, once you awake it'll be okay. Luo Feng gently said. His voice had an unbelievable amount of power, N.A. Ku could only feel his entire being drift into a blur as his eyes closed and he fell asleep. Now that he's asleep, there's less trouble. Luo Feng rushed into the skies breaking through the many levels of clouds. In one breath he rushed to the 18th level. Any higher and he would leave Blood River World. With a thought, a silver pyramid appeared beside and Luo Feng carried little N.A. Ku into the universe ship. Within the control room. He placed Na Ku into a resting room for him to sleep in, Luo Feng then came to the control room. This is Blood River Continent's map. Barbata, help me take a look and tell me where the coordinates of the ancient god ruins are. Luo Feng's consciousness connected to Barbata's. Barbata quickly calculated, returning to Luo Feng the area of coordinates, that territory belonged to the ancient god ruins region. Even with any errors, it wouldn't be too far away. Let's head out towards the ancient god ruins. We'll proceed 16 billion kilometers and stop. Luo Feng gave the order to the automaton ship. Actually the AI of the automaton ship was a subsidiary AI that Barbata had created. Under normal circumstances, it could perfectly control the ship. However when it was times of crisis, Barbata would take over and control the automaton ship with the optimum control. Yes, master. The ship's AI responded. The ship soared through the clouds and swiftly flew in space. External simulation, 100%. Luo Feng ordered. Immediately before him a simulation of the space outside showed. One side was space while the other was the outermost layer of clouds from Blood River World. The vast Blood River continent. Luo Feng looked at the continent from space. Yet no one dares to leave the cloud levels, the strength of the virtual universe company is, too strong. Barbata, Help me prepare a file for nurturing N.A. Ku. I cannot accompany him, I can only arrange for the best for him. Luo Feng sighed. Barbata's voice resounded in the control room, this little matter, you have quite a few treasures on you, plus the many others the dead domain lords gave you. Nurturing a little punk is very easy. After a while, Luo Feng acquired a detailed nurturing plan for N.A. Ku. As Luo Feng sat in the automaton ship, it was swiftly flying in the space above Blood River World. A silver-black marked disc-shaped universe ship with a diameter of 180 meter appeared in the 16th cloud level above Swallow Mound City. The leader of the group was dressed in black armor. His blue hair was floating about and his eyes seemed vast and boundless. Behind him were four purple armored men and women. They all hid their strength, revealing only domain lord level power. I wish to know, just who has such guts? to kill my disciple in my territory. The blue long-haired black armored man's eyes were like lightning, shooting down below. Even the cloud layers below split apart from his gaze, allowing him to easily see the tiny swallow mound city below. Let's go down. The blue-haired man said coldly. Yes. Behind him the four purple armored domain lords followed respectfully. These five shot down like lightning, and the floating universe ship behind them vanished. After a short period of time. Within the city leader's mansion, even though a part of it was already destroyed, the city leader's mansion was even larger than the pure feather family mansion. Hence, a large portion of it was still perfectly undamaged. In one of the palaces, whether it was Swallow Mound's families, sect, army, information system and so on, all the department heads and brains had all arrived. Silence. The palace was completely silent. That formless pressure caused the group of prominent figures to perspire from their foreheads and kneel respectfully on the ground, because they knew the man before them was the world city leader. The leader of this side of the world. Your city leader Rock Wind Xiong is dead. The blue-haired black armored man sat above and said coldly. The group below him were stunned. The two envoys from the undying shrine passing by Swallow Mound City are dead too. The group below was even more shocked. They really didn't know. The murderer is him. The blue-haired man waved his hand and immediately a bunch of paper floated onto the ground. On every piece was a picture of a black fully armored silhouette with boots and helmet, that was using a six-edged shield and blood shadow blade. 
Actually, this picture was simply a screenshot from the footage that was sent. Murderer. A group of people looked at the paper. The face has been blocked. Wearing black armor, everyone wears black armor around. How do we look for him? The group was suspicious and helpless. If he changes his look after killing them, how will we look for him? We can confirm that he is a pinnacle domain level warrior. The blue-haired man said coldly. Activate all your resources. Go look and check if any suspicious domain level warrior appeared in Swallow Mound City within this past period. Yes. The group knelt down. I want to get a report before daylight tomorrow. Yes. The group left after. The blue-haired man stood in the palace and was looking outside through the window as though he was looking at space. To have the guts to kill my, Sayong's disciple, and to steal my blood river crystals. A cold snort resounded within the silent palace. The automaton ship was flying in the space above Blood River World. It began to slow down after about 22 hours. Master, we've already reached 16 billion kilometers away. The voice resounded within the control room. Luo Feng nodded. He went into the resting room and carried the sleeping N.A. Ku. He swiftly followed the pathway within to the cabin door of the ship. He then kept the ship and headed down towards through the Blood River atmosphere. Rumble. Rushing through the 18th, 17th, 16th levels. N.A. Ku. Luo Feng shouted. Only then did N.A. Ku wake up. He looked at where he was floating in mid-air, as he was carried by a formless energy, and before him stood Luo Feng. Big Brother Feng. He was fully awake only now. Follow me down. Luo Feng brought N.A. Ku, swiftly breaking through the first level of clouds, causing N.A. Ku to be shocked as it was still late night. Blood River World's night was six to seven times longer than a night of Earth, and the distance of 16 billion kilometers caused the region below to look close to the time they left Swallow Mound City. Luo Feng brought N.A. Ku into the closest city. This city was called Meng N.A. City. It had an area of 10 million kilometers, the side of the world they were in was called Yurong World. This Meng N.A. city is actually in Yurong World and is about 10 worlds apart from the Sirong world before. N.A. Ku was very shocked. Big Brother Feng, how long have I been asleep? Relax, not even 30 days. Luo Feng said. Blood River World's 30 days was about half a year Earth's time. In truth, N.A. Ku had only slept for over 20 hours. However, he would never know. With Blood River Continents different worlds attacking each other, plus it being simply too vast, there was no uniform timeline. Not even 30 days. That's good. N.A. Ku nodded. I heard from many warriors that traveling 10 worlds would require a long amount of time. After settling down for a day in Meng N.A. City, Luo Feng placed N.A. Ku in that city's Rain Blade sect. The leader of the sect personally welcomed the both of them. This is the punk I told you about, I'm leaving him here in your sect. When I finish my training, I will return to take him. When that time comes, I will naturally thank you. Luo Feng looked at the Rain Blade sect leader before him. The leader nodded, relax, this little matter won't be a problem. The leader of the sect was a skinny yet intrepid old man. As a cloud level, universe level, warrior, he was a prominent figure in Meng N.A. city. However Luo Feng's arrival last night, had indeed shocked this old man. This black-haired youth, his power is beyond my comprehension, and I have no resistance before him. He should be a domain-level warrior, and he's really generous. To be on good terms with such an absolute warrior, that's extremely lucky. At this time, N.A. Ku began to stay in the Yurong world's Meng N.A. city, Rain Blade sect. N.A. Ku. Your study of the bow and arrow before shows that your spirit energy is indeed strong. These are the spirit reader training techniques I have prepared for you. Luo Feng took out a thick book, it was something Barbata had printed using this world's paper. Using this world's words, a training manual for a spirit reader, from basic to deep had been created. Actually, this was something only the elite disciples of the Yunmo planet could study. This training manuals, as long as you can study it, you can use it until you become an undying spirit. Luo Feng said. Big Brother Feng. N.A. Ku looked surprised at the book before him. My god, the many worlds of Blood River Continent were all fighting for valuable things. This manual that worked from Star Traveler level to Undying, just how valuable was it? These are several suggestions I've prepared for you. Luo Feng took out a thin book. 
In it I've put down on how to use the treasures to enhance your training efficiency. These are some treasures. Luo Feng handed over a space ring. Using these treasures, as long as you train seriously, you can definitely become cloud level without any problem. As long as you work extra hard, you have the possibility of becoming domain level, domain lord. As for proceeding further, that'll depend on yourself. Luo Feng smiled at N.A. Ku. N.A. Ku was shocked. It was a gift from the heavens. As long as he seriously trained, he could become cloud level, universe level. Looking at the leader of the Rain Blade sect, to be able to open a sect in a city, cloud level, this was definitely an absolute warrior in this city. Thanks, thanks. N.A. Ku was so excited his eyes were red. Luo Feng smiled. What was this? Back then, his teacher, the master of the Yunmo planet had prepared treasures for him to rush to the domain lord and even sector lord level. As long as he didn't worry about the price, he could completely nurture a universe, domain lord and sector lord. Of course the price worth was simply too low. For example, the cost of creating a universe level alone could actually be used to buy an army of slave universe levels. This N.A. Ku was an aboriginal of Blood River World. He was born as a star traveler, plus with this world's environment, his innate ability was much stronger than Luo Feng back then. Luo Feng had only prepared some treasures enough to nurture him to cloud level. I know you really wish to return. But remember, before cloud level, I definitely won't allow you to return. Luo Feng emphasized. Traveling ten worlds is simply too dangerous. Without the strength of a cloud level, that will simply be suicide. N.A. Ku nodded. Luo Feng smiled, all right, whatever I've given you, don't tell another soul. That I know. N.A. Ku was from a business family. Naturally he knew the outcome of revealing the treasures. Ha ha, I'm leaving. Luo Feng smiled and turned, vanishing from sight, leaving only N.A. Ku there. N.A. Ku grabbed the thick book in his hands, flipping it open, the words on every page were very small, and the amount of information within was shocking. Father, you were right, this opportunity is a big one. N.A. Ku kept the book in his space ring, and his eyes were filled with resolve. I will definitely train, until I get strong, definitely. Luo Feng rushed into the sky. He passed through the many cloud layers straight to the 18th level, and arrived in the space above Blood River World. Little N.A. Ku. Luo Feng looked down through the vast clouds. I've done what I could. As for what level you reach in the future, that'll depend on yourself. A true warrior will ultimately still rely on himself to train. I'm still training myself, only earlier than you by a little. Luo Feng flew into the automaton ship that appeared beside him and ordered, proceed towards the ancient god ruins. The automaton ship took on the appearance of a meteorite, and swiftly proceeded in space. As for the father of the N.A. family's fate, Luo Feng could only wish him the best. After all, he had his own path to walk. Useless. A bunch of useless beings. A black-robed Sai Yong, who was almost like an absolute beast standing above the palace, howled at the group of underlings kneeling below him. Three whole days, it's been three whole days. This is the answer you are giving me. There's no use at all. The upper echelon of Swallow Mound City were like weak little bunnies, as they were all trembling. How can he blame us? That picture shows a fully armored and masked warrior, and it's the most common types. As for searching for information, there are many mysterious warriors, however they are all fake. The underlings were all complaining within, however, before the world city leader they didn't dare make a sound. What a joke. Do you all know that this is a big joke? Sai Yong's expression was heavy, and he was raging, the bastards from the worlds around us will take us to be a joke. And you all are simply useless. The group kneeling below all trembled hard, not daring to look up. Useless. You are all useless. Go. Sai Yong roared. Go and spread the news about the bounty on information around Swallow Mound City. Let them know that the murderer has domain level pinnacle strength, wears black armor, and also uses a blade and shield. Also put a picture of the weapons up, go spread it. As long as anyone can provide a bit of information, reward them one million treasure currency. If they can provide the location, and it's true, reward them one hundred million treasure currency, and immediately give him a luxurious mansion within Swallow Mound City, along with 8,000 slaves and 8,000 guards. Sai Yong said solemnly. Yes. The group glanced at each other, shocked at the amount of the rewards that were being handed out. They were all kneeling and complying. 
Why are you still here? Get out. Sai Yong howled, the group fled terrified. Only Sai Yong was left in the palace, along with the four underlings he had brought with him. Master, leave this matter to us. Relax, a simple and honest looking middle aged man said. Sai Yong shot him a look, saying coldly, Just being the joke among the sector lords around isn't enough for me to be so enraged. Do you know? The Undying Shrine is already asking me just why the two envoys died on my territory. That group of old punks. Sai Yong's expression was ashen, snorting coldly, HMPH, the death of two envoys, this small matter isn't enough for the high and mighty undying spirits to personally come out. Hence those old punks are using their power and authority to clamor about. This makes me so mad. I really want to punch them and reduce them to nothing. The four underlines exchanged glances, realizing that it was the undying shrine giving him pressure. Swallow Mound City. Make way, make way. A group of soldiers riding beasts shouted, chasing a large amount of people off to the side of the streets. Here, stick. The leader of the group of soldiers pointed at a large shiny wall at the side and ordered. Immediately, the soldiers jumped off their beasts and swiftly began sticking their pictures and posters of the mysterious murderer all over the wall. Very quickly, that incredibly clear picture's shocking reward made everyone who saw it dumbfounded. This was considered a major road, with a high amount of traffic. As long as the news is a bit useful, the reward is one million, treasure currency. One million treasure currency. How much is that? I haven't personally seen treasure currency before. One treasure currency, that's one thousand big currency, one billion little currency. I only earn ten little currency a day, how long would it take for me to earn that amount? Look. One hundred million treasure currency. Luxurious mansion, eight thousand slaves and guards. Madness, madness. Eight thousand slaves and guards. To arrange for so many slaves and guards in a mansion, even in Swallow Mound City, that would be considered top class. Even the general's mansion and pure feather family, only those mansions would be bigger than this one. Bounty for murderer, domain level pinnacle. I think I've seen this man before, similar to a guest in the Flying Cloud Pavilion. You must be dreaming, your Flying Cloud Pavilion has 100,000 guests, and many of them look like that. Madness. That huge bounty, even the cloud level, universe level, warriors couldn't help, but get enticed by it, much less the normal masses. The high and mighty city world leader casually threw out a bounty, causing the entire Swallow Mound city to fall into an uproar unlike ever before, the investigation degree immediately soared. Space. While Swallow Mound city began spreading its huge bounty all over, Luo Feng was in the automaton ship heading towards the ancient god ruins. He took out a Blood River Crystal. Training Room. Luo Feng lay there, staring at the beautiful triangular Blood Red Crystal. Heading towards the ancient god ruins, there's still a distance of 1.2 trillion kilometers. With the automaton ship speed, it would still take over two months to get there. No matter which ship it was, the closer its speed got to light speed, the harder it got. Just like a test, a perfect 100, the closer one got to 100 the harder it was to get one point more. Similarly, the closer a ship got to light speed, the harder it was to accelerate. The moment there was higher resistance, then it would be hard to reach light speed. It may be space, however it was still space within a secret region. Not even mentioning the space dust and fragments, just the material space energies forming mist, under shocking speed, even the mist would form resistance. If I can universe travel, traveling through and slowing down to return to the actual universe, I'd reach quickly. It's a pity, I cannot. Then, I'll absorb the Blood River Crystal. Luo Feng adjusted himself, following which he used his right index to slash his left palm. Just like a blade slash, the wound appeared and fresh blood flowed out. Luo Feng placed the Blood River Crystal on the wound, that formless energy immediately rushed into Luo Feng's body, simultaneously triggering the originally dormant cells within his body with mysterious energy. A simple engraving line appeared on Luo Feng's chest. Rumble. Kill. Kill. Just like an endless gush of water flowing, that powerful determination filled with madness, and killing intent clashed against Luo Feng's willpower. Just in terms of willpower sturdiness, many sector lords couldn't even compare to Luo Feng. Even the high and mighty undyings, those that didn't know about mental training, couldn't compare to Luo Feng's willpower. Willpower. Didn't have anything to do with training. Heart like a mirror, 
seeing through what may seem terrifying and fierce, during times of chaos, it was incomparably steady and sturdy. Heart like a blade, slashing through obstructions. This fierce willpower attack, is about two times that of last time. Luo Feng was suspicious. Since it's the same crystal, the willpower within should be the same. How come the willpower attack from this second crystal is two times that of the first? Could it be the remnant willpower hidden within from the first crystal? Before Luo Feng could understand it, that extreme pain that shook his soul permeated through his body. The crystal in his hand flowed with threads of blood-red energy, swiftly permeating his entire body, and as it went in, it made his body go through extreme changes. Pitter-patter. Luo Feng's entire person swelled up, his bones and muscles grew thicker. Since these changes were happening within a short period of time, one could only imagine the extreme pain. All sorts of unimaginable changes were happening to his body. How painful, why is it so much worse than the first time? Luo Feng's eyes were cold. However, his muscles were twitching uncontrollably, his teeth too were growing sharp and long and turning into fangs. This pain had already extended from his body into his soul, Luo Feng's willpower and consciousness were however very strong. He was forcefully bearing everything, and did not let himself get affected, at least he remained lucid. Luo Feng's chest suddenly split opened and fresh blood spewed out. The morphing leg suddenly broke. Hua Hua, suddenly, large amounts of blood-red energy swiftly flowed backwards within his body, returning to the blood-red crystal in his hand. In an instant, the almost fully transparent crystal returned to its original blood-red color. It stopped. What's going on? Luo Feng realized his body had returned to its human form, the only change was the wound on his chest and his broken leg. With a thought, the pure energy from his internal world swiftly regenerated his body, and very quickly the wounds and broken bones returned to normal, perfectly undamaged. Luo Feng quietly sat in the sofa, lifting a glass of wine in one hand and the blood river crystal in the other. No change, this blood river crystal didn't change at all. Luo Feng frowned, and I can feel, my body hasn't improved at all. The mysterious energy within my body, and my comprehension of the origin laws are all still the same. This absorption was a complete failure. Yes, complete failure. How could it be? My consciousness and willpower, I only failed after reaching the fantasy ocean's tenth island. My body, human body, but it's normal. Luo Feng thought. His eyes gleamed, and in his mind a few words from the books flashed. The contents were about how valuable and rare the Blood River Crystal was. Absorption was very hard. Absorbing one alone was very hard, two would have ten times the requirements on the body, absorbing three would have one hundred times the requirements. The further one got, the harsher the requirements were. Remembering these words, Luo Feng realized. Right, body. My earth body is considered normal. One was successful and the second was a failure. However, ten times to requirements on the body. Which side of the body do the requirements fall on? Luo Feng frowned, body strength, toughness, cell activity. Also, it says that slaughtering will aid in the absorption of the crystals. However, which part of the body does slaughtering help? The killing aura of the ancient god ruins. The saying states that going there to soak in the killing aura would help with the absorption of the blood river crystals. They also state that slaughtering would help with the absorption too. Also that the requirements for absorption are very harsh. Luo Feng nodded, understanding finally. Obviously, Mad slaughtering and soaking in the killing aura from the ancient god ruins would produce a special effect in the body. Raising that certain part of the body will allow one to be able to absorb the crystal. Slaughter. His earth body could be said to have slaughtered a lot, compared to normal humans. Yet it wasn't that much either, his earth body's slaughtering was indeed limited. However he did slaughter quite a bit in the virtual universe network. However, those were all simulated and it wouldn't change his body at all. Ha ha. The only reason I'm heading to the ancient god ruins, is to become a blood warrior and potentially even a black warrior. However I didn't even expect the second crystal absorption to fail. Luo Feng shook his head. As he closed his eyes, his consciousness connected to the virtual universe network, and entered the absolute beginning region to train. In the pathway. My luck sure is bad, I lost again. Yu Chun Yang cursed as he walked. Big brother, big brother. A voice resounded. Yu Chun Yang turned to look. An armored youth was running over, extremely excited as he smiled and said, I say Ah Xiong, why do you look so happy? 
Has our young master N.A. could been found? Nope. The old master has been looking all over for him. However he seemed to have vanished, but no one knows to where. The armored Yu Xiong shook his head. Swallow Mound City is in such a mess. With the young master's dumb temperament, who knows, he may have messed with the wrong people and gotten himself killed. Damn, you dare curse the young master's death. Yu Chun Yang stared. Yu Xiong rolled his eyes, dragging Yu Chun Yang to the side and communicated mentally, Big brother, have you seen the bounty rewards around? What bounty? I just came out of the casino. Why would I have looked at the bounties? Yu Chun Yang shook his head. Come with me. Yu Xiong dragged his older brother. To where? Just follow me. The two brothers quickly arrived before the bounty posters in a walkway. The allure of the bounty was simply too huge after all. Even now, large amounts of people hung about looking at it, many muttering and dreaming about being the ones who gave the information, or discovered the killer, receiving the bounty. One million treasure currency. One hundred million treasure currency. Yu Chun Yang stared wide-eyed. Look carefully at the details of the bounty, that killer's picture, the weapons and armor he uses. Yu Xiong communicated within. Yu Chun Yang looked, immediately his eyes stared wide, turning back to look at his bother, replying, Ah Xiong, this, this is the absolute warrior we met when we accompanied the young master into the wilderness forest. Didn't he use this shield and this type of blade? And he instantly killed the thirteen axe, they didn't even have time to react. The thirteen axe has three cloud levels. That warrior should be a domain level. Right? Yu Xiong nodded, communicating, our Swallow Mound city rarely ever sees a domain level warrior. The shield and weapons are the same, it wouldn't be that coincidental. This Lord Fong is really vicious. Even the envoys of the Undying Shrine were killed, too vicious. Should we? Yu Chun Yang's eyes gleamed. Do we go or not? Yu Xiong looked at his big brother. This, Yu Chun Yang hesitated. If you are not going, I'm going. Yu Xiong communicated. Don't regret it, even though the old master treats us not bad, however, didn't we enter the NA family for money? Yun Chun Yang grit his teeth, all right, let's go. Hence, the two swiftly headed to the city leader's mansion. City leader's mansion. Sai Yong sat in the throne of the palace. Gazing below, there were three people bowing respectfully. Have you found anything? Sai Yong's voice was solemn, yet filled with formless pressure. After pasting the bounties, it's definitely been better. However of the three you all mentioned before, two of them were determined to be false. That last one, we are unable to confirm. Yet, you say there's a guarantee now. World city leader. A deputy general from the army was filled with glee, saying excitedly, this time, the guarantee is much bigger than before. We've acquired three people's confessions, they all state the same person. Above the palace, Sai Yong looked up. His called phone. According to the confessions of the three people, not long ago, this phone was in the wild beast forest outside. There he met Swallow Mound City's N.A. family's young master N.A. Ku and his guards. Along the way, they were attacked by the Thirteen Axe, but that mysterious warrior simply attacked and formed thirteen images. With thirteen blades, he killed all of them, and apparently they didn't even have the chance to react. Thirteen Axe, what organization is that? Sai Yong frowned. World city leader, they are a prominent organization within this Swallow Mound territory. The thirteen acts refer to thirteen warriors, of which three are cloud level. And ten of them at sky level pinnacle. The deputy general said respectfully, as for the deaths of the thirteen acts, we've already confirmed that they were all done by that one person. Ah? Sai Yong stood up violently. This news was vicious. Instantly producing thirteen images and killing thirteen, and of which three were cloud levels. Space Origin Laws Sai Yong's eyes lit up, confirming within, right, the footage envoy Mo sent of the Black Warrior, he was using space laws, and his speed was extremely shocking. Weapon Sai Yong asked. Shield, blade, similar to the picture. The Deputy General said seriously. Very good. Sai Yong's eyes gleamed, go, find out more news on this phone. Yes. Back then he couldn't bear to leave his business and chose to remain in Swallow Mound City. As his memory had been wiped, Nabu had been extremely anxious since he discovered his son was missing. He activated all his strength and resources to madly search for his son. 
so much so that he didn't even look at the bounty. When he actually saw it, he was shocked. He too had suspected that the killer could very likely be Lord Foam. Hence he immediately wanted to control that group of guards. However, other than the four he managed to control, the others weren't around. Bring them away. Bring them all away. Hurry and look, this the name list of the guards from back then. Find all of them. Also, hurry and find the N.A. family's young master N.A. Ku. The group of soldiers rushed into the N.A. family, grabbing Nabu and Thunder Uncle away. A purple-uniformed beautiful lady stood outside the torture chamber. Clang. After it opened, the deputy general walked out. Greetings, Lord. The general was shocked as he saw the lady, bowing respectfully. This beautiful lady before him was one of the four great underlings world city leader Tsai Yong had brought with him, a domain-level warrior. Interrogate the N.A. family leader, have you found anything on foam? The lady questioned. No, he said he didn't know either. The deputy general shook his head. I've carefully interrogated him, however I've discovered that this N.A. family leader barely knew this foam, and had just met him a couple of times. Their relationship wasn't deep. Useless. The beautiful lady roared. The deputy general's face flushed red, wanting to reply, but not daring to say anything. Get out, take all of your men and leave. Leave it to me. The lady said. Yes. The deputy general immediately took all of the army within the torture chamber, leaving only Nabu and Thunder Uncle. Within the torture chamber. Nabu and Thunder Uncle were both pale, with injuries all over, they had been subjected to physical torture. Old master, we thought that the meeting of Lord Foam was a good thing. Who'd have expect would end up like this? It's truly, truly, Thunder Uncle sighed. Beside him Nabu sighed too. Lei Dong, this time our N.A. family has implicated you. Old master, Thunder Uncle was just about to speak. That purple-clothed lady walked in. By simply walking there, it caused both Thunder Uncle and Nabu to lose control of themselves. As their gaze fell on her body, they gradually fell into a daze. That group of idiots, using torture while interrogating, idiots. The purple lady's expression grew heavy, beginning her questioning. You speak first, tell me the whole story of the meeting, and tell it clearly to me. Also tell me some of your conjectures, tell them all to me. Thunder Uncle told the entire story. Nabu too spoke. Both of them, under the soul technique's control, both guessed, that the killer was very likely to be foam. This questioning too made the purple-clothed lady's expression ugly. The cold pierced through bones, a blurry long-haired Sai Yong stood in the pathway. Master! The purple-haired lady walked over and bowed respectfully. From your footsteps, the results of the interrogation must not be very good. Sai Yong looked in the distance, his back facing the lady. She lowered her head and said, Yes, I used soul techniques and confirmed that these two weren't lying. Their N.A. family had indeed met with this foam. However, this foam seemed to have favored the young master N.A. Ku. N.A. Ku. Where is he? Sai Yong asked indifferently. N.A. Ku has vanished. The purple-haired lady said softly. And he vanished the night of the deaths of the envoys. Other than that, we cannot find any other information on this foam. Also, N.A. Ku's disappearance, even his father doesn't know. Hence he's been anxiously looking for his son, not even noticing the bounty, all this was revealed by some of his guards. N.A. Ku's disappearance is too much of a coincidence. I can guarantee that it has something to do with the killer. Right now there are two possibilities. One of them is that N.A. Ku knows detailed information on foam. The killer was worried that his identity would be revealed. Hence, he killed him to silence him. The second possibility is that Luo Feng knew it would be troublesome after killing the envoys, and that the trouble would befall the N.A. family. Since he favored N.A. Ku, he took him away. The purple-haired lady said respectfully. What about Feng? Sai Yong's voice was filled with a sense of rage. I don't want to know anything else about him. I just want to know where this killer is. I want to catch him. No idea, I cannot find anything. The purple-haired lady shook her head. Rumble. Sai Yong waved his fist in rage. It hit the pillar on the side. Immediately the mad explosive energy exploded, and terrifying shockwaves burst out from the pillar. It then fanned out, and caused large amounts of constructs to be reduced to dust. Many waiters, soldiers and guards were immediately reduced to a mess, the lucky ones only had broken limbs. 
In an instant, several kilometer around the city leader's mansion was reduced to waste, there were cries of pain and rumbling. Bastard. Sai Yong violently turned. His expression struggling, his explosive aura causing the skies and land to tremble. Master, what do I do with the N.A. family? The purple-clothed lady asked respectfully. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.